Um, call to order. Okay, call the meeting to order. We have a board of assessors for Tuesday, September 26th, 5 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. First item is is vote to approve appointment of Jenny Morrison to fill a, a vacant position until the next election. But she would be there for two elections, right? Or would she no, have to have just one? Oh, okay. Just, uh, I didn't know if she carried out Melanie's term or apparently not. It, okay. it just goes to the next. Oh, okay. Okay. So we would have two positions open at the next meeting. Yeah. Yeah. I think I I'm the next one. You were last year, right? Did you just get elected last year? Yeah. So you have this year, you've got another year ahead. I don't know. Whatever. I'm, I'm, Whatever I'm, under your position, yeah. Okay. Uh, we did talk with uh, Cynthia and I talked to Jenny. Yeah. Uh, we're on new time today. And it's only the month of May that she can't do, correct? Well, that was the real, that was the month that was the problem. Right. During July and August seemed to be pretty empty. Right. Okay. Right. And she, but she couldn't come to the meeting tonight. She did have a game. But she had come to. Okay. So that's where we're going to run into a problem, and that's the, that could be the problem. So, and I almost certainly will be a problem in May. Yeah. Yeah. She, I, I mean, she did say she could work around it if she knew ahead of time. I guess, but she'll know ahead of time. I know. We told her that. Yeah. We'll see. I guess. Well, no, Why does she want to do it? I don't know. She yeah. seems to actually be interested yeah. in it. Yeah. Uh, she owns several buildings in Northampton and at least one in Hatfield that she rents. She not only at, acts as kind of the manager of doing these rental things, but she does a lot of the actual work. Which she feels qualifies her. And been in town for what 10 years? 10 she years, she said. Okay, I, I mean, we don't have any other choice. She'll be able to sign things off. She's here on a Tuesday, but when she's not here on a Tuesday, we'll have to work around it somehow. She'll have to come in and sign something. Yeah. She does have to take the classification hearing before she can sign any of the tax stuff this fall, but you'll still be on board, right, till the end of the year? Yeah. Okay. So she's going to take the class in the exam this fall? Just for the classification. Oh, okay. not for 101. Okay, because just the one thing. That, okay. See, I would not, I, I told her, you know, if, if it works out with us and it works out with you and you run for assessor in June, then you will need within a year to take 101. Yeah. And then yeah. you can do it on the Yeah. Okay, so I approve. Yeah, do something. Make a motion to approve her. Okay. Second. Okay. Yeah, I vote to recommend her uh, appointment to the select board. And the select board has the authority. We just recommend okay. to them to approve uh, Jenny Morrison for that position. And Jen, Jenny. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so that that's good. Um, Sign chapter six. Well, I did get some more in. I can I could run in depth. You could go on and you could. There aren't any abatement applications, so we do have things to get signed. There are some chapter things. Yeah, why don't I run in depth on it? Okay. Um, I just sent an email to Dwayne, who is supposed to be coming Tuesday, to find out what hour to expect him and how long he may be here. And I probably, if I if I come in tomorrow, which is debatable, I will probably learn tomorrow. But I'm not sure I'm coming in, so, so I'm get these. Is that 
October, does that mean we should be here on October 3rd? I'm not sure what. I don't think we need yeah. to be. Okay. No. I think to that Fred may try to come in. Yeah. It may be just really, you know, going over with him what we, I mean, I have, have, have pulled out, I suppose I should come back. If we're going to be on the phone. Okay. Okay. I have pulled out four properties that are really important. The medical marijuana place, because it's got a lot of new stuff going on. The Norse Farms, because they bought the whole, everything at the end of Pilvinas Avenue. They've taken down the Pilvinas Avenue sign. So now you don't know where oh, yeah. it's Pilvinas oh. Avenue any longer. But there's, I think, a whole lot of uh, greenhouses going up back there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff is going Would up. Would you bring some pens back, please? Sure. Yeah. Um, so those two, D, so that's, they're right almost side by side. The DMCC or whatever it is, is, you know, the two properties, AI and Rawls. Yeah. And what else? Oh, the two uh, self-storage places. One, because you and I couldn't get into that one. And then there's the new one. Okay. I'll be right back. So are all the houses in your area are they all built? We're still no, there's one there's a couple lots empty and there's one on the other side of the street at the very end that is being built, but it does it seems to have stopped momentarily for some reason. What is that? The house at the end of the street. Ah of yours. Of yeah. Oh great. Okay. These have just been coming in. Um, I guess a little tour, and you can just sign and look at it. I think I might have. This is the same, this is the same as that. I'm just okay. I don't need to sign anymore. It's the same thing. We haven't gotten the rest of their chapter started yet, as far as I can see. There it all is. All those. Can I have hands, please? Yes, I just. And they're right. underneath, I believe. But they're underneath. Um, now we have some study. These we can't do until we have tax credit. These were signed before. These are done. And these are exemptions to remove exceptions. Now, it's not, we're not on the agenda. Yes, to appoint Jenny Morrison is on it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so we just did that. We voted to right. So let me get a copy of our agenda and just write it and put it right here so they know that we recommend the appointment. That makes sense. Here.
Is that the Greenfield paper? Yes. And they put in uh, Melanie's old bed. Could you send me a copy of that? Sure. I'll be saving you two of my clients if I see it. When did this actually happen? Yesterday? Yesterday morning around one party. Her daughter called me and then called the police. So she probably found her there when she was bringing her her own bed. Very sad. Everything right now seems very really sad. We haven't seen her since the winter between that last time we were on that bed. Well, I saw her maybe two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. And she looked like she was all right. When did you last see her? When they last raised that thing? In her house? No, she actually came to my house. Oh, and we went to the uh, something for the evening and to the grocery store. Time help. So I'm going to leave this 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 copy. I'm going to leave right here. If there are minutes, Mayflower will be here for sure, but that doesn't concern. Okay, older new business. Uh, there was something else I wanted to mention that I can. Well, let me ask you about Mayflower coming up. Okay, you 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 at least plan going out with them. Look at these properties. I never have. Well, you never have. You just give them and, the cards. And yeah. what I have the cards for the new for the things I want them to look at. Right. I did ask him what does he expect me to have ready. Uh, I don't. Other than that, I don't really have anything. I mean, I kind of know what the new growth is. Yeah. And all of that, but I don't. I mean, I haven't pulled the cards. I think it's it's really going to be. He's going to come in and. Say this is what I need. This is what I need. I'll probably come in tomorrow just because I feel that if I don't, there's going to be a. He won't be ready. He will get charged for time that he has spent when he hasn't felt productive. And I don't feel like he's being productive. And I don't even know if it will be Dwayne, but it was Dwayne who called me. So back on the third. That's next Tuesday. Yeah. Do you know when our, our next um, meeting? No. Okay. Is there any week when you are not going to be available? Uh, no, that's on a Tuesday. I'll be available. And, and Fred, for you? Yeah, I'll, I'll have a day here. Yeah. Any day in the next month? When is that for all oh, that young person isn't going to be around then until whenever she can't find yeah. We're going to try to get her to come to the next day. Yeah. yeah. Maybe then you should be asking her when it works for her. Well, we tried. Um, didn't we ask yeah. her about and uh, well, we asked her about, about the third. She, she could come in the morning at a third. We didn't know what we were doing that day. Right. No, I, 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 I would not want her to come in. Then. That doesn't make sense. Um. Yeah, she's really available in the daytime and not in the night. Although she does have games beginning at two, so actually she's not really available in the morning. And she has to pick up a kid or her kid. I don't know how she could possibly have kids still in school. Because she's been doing stuff already for 40 years, which would kind of make it seem like she was at least 16. Uh, was the other one, was uh, Meredith, her mother, did we, did we ever ascertain that? The one who, remember they switched houses? Yeah. 
I forgot to look it up. I was going to look it up in the street. I do. We get, there was an average difference in age, but like 10 years oh. at all. So I don't know. Well, then, sure. if they're only 10 years different than age, they're not. No. Mother and daughter. No. Almost certainly. I think six, this was 61. I forget what the other was. So it was earlier than that. Yeah. They bought the McGuffey house, which we were never, I think we may have finally gotten into it this last time. And then they, I don't know, they ended up swapping houses. And it's confusing because one's at 168 and the other's at 186. Just not fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'll come in tomorrow. I'm almost certain I will. I just won't wear so many clothes. I mean, it was 50 when I left the house. Oh, um, this is cool. This is cool. My office has got to be a good 20 degrees from there. It's like an oven. And I couldn't leave the window open. I was telling Fred because they have a whole bunch of little piglets over there at the auction. They were screaming, which I can't take. Yeah. I cannot take. What, what's our schedule for the, the, the tax rate setting? Here? What are we looking at? Normally, yeah. normally Mayflower does their work in October and November. We, if the stuff gets submitted to the state, and very often we don't actually have that final. Um, that's what I wanted to mention. That final meeting uh, when the tax rate is set. And now I have not heard anything from the select board as to whether they want to go revisit yet again yeah. the issue of upping the commercial. Yeah, not a word. But that, so that. Public meeting for the tax rate, setting the tax rate, it has to be in what, December? I think the it's latest? usually early December, very early December, like you know, in the first week, I think it's. Okay. But you won't know until, say, okay, in the November, well, towards the end of November, what? I'll know more yeah. after I see Dwayne next week, I presume. So the like the LA four and the other stuff used for the rate is it won't be available until then. Is that available today? Well, I can print out an LA four. But it will be with the current. It'll be yeah. with current, but that doesn't mean that things won't see now. They're gonna Mayflower will look at we have no sales. It 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 it's gonna be very challenging. We have virtually no sales in Why? the last two years. I mean it's really come to a Screeching hall, we've had none this summer really? other than you know family and trust. Yeah, um, but the, the LA4 only is really of importance once Mayflower has maybe made a change, you know, a, a town wide global change to land value. So they really have to do the sales analysis. Okay. And who puts that in? Well, doesn't the board here have to sign off on that LA4 for it to be I think official? so. I think so. I mean, frankly, what usually happens is that I use your passwords yeah. to go in and put your names in. Right. It happens during the day. Okay. And they don't even, the only one that I think that you're supposed to really have a hard copy with a hard signature on it, and I'm not even sure that's true anymore, is the final recap sheet. Okay. But I remember last year, I just went in and used the various passwords. And... Right, okay. So... 
we need to uh, discuss this further with Brian or not, or you want to just wait and see? I want to wait till Tuesday and see what Dwayne says. He's talked to Dwayne. I'm hoping it's Dwayne and not Quackenbush, but okay. and really, because this. But you, you mentioned earlier there's what four properties that you. There are four properties that I definitely want. I'm, I'm curious to see because I'm going to mention also, Yankee Candle has a big open thing for some kind of mezzanine thing, but I suspect what Dwayne will say is that uh, that doesn't really affect the market value. Also, the fact that, oh, I know what the other one is. I had forgotten it, and it's not really for this year. It'll it'll go on on January, but I would like to have them do it, and that's the new dispensary at the Sugarloaf Shops. Yeah, so okay. the recreation sites. It wouldn't look like from the, from the photograph for the grand opening, it looked like they had about Twenty dollars worth of, of product on the shelves. Oh, and it, it, it's only recreational, not something inside of the shop. We don't see any cars there either. So no, I don't know whether that's typical of these places now or not. Yeah, I don't know. Well, how about the businesses over here? Do we have any of that? You want which? Oh, that's not, oh yeah. On uh, Sandy Lane. Yeah. Uh, you and I went into those a yeah. couple of years ago. I think. I think we're okay on okay this. With it. It's the new ones that I, and that's important that I remember to print that out. The mm -hmm. uh, and the mm -hmm. sugar loaf. I've got them. Yeah. Um, the sugar loaf. Uh, and add that. So that's five, and I don't think they would be willing to do more than six for what we agreed to for a price. But I could be wrong. That's what I want to. Sanjana. Okay. And that's to get the current assessed value of these properties? Yeah. And how long ago was the last time these were done? Some of them have never been done. There's the brand new self storage. Right. There's the brand new, oh, creamy is one. That's at the summer simmers so, creamy. Summer, that yeah. is, it is one. That's one I've already got set up. And I've talked to the woman and to say that we'll have our, our consultant will be coming at some point. Yeah. So it's the two storage facilities. It's the two marijuana facilities and North Farm. But one storage, it's an open yet. It's still... I know, but it looks... When I look down at today, it, it looked like stuff is going... Uh, we, we can't add it for this year. No. But I would like to get it on January 1st okay. for 2025. So I would like them to look at it yeah. rather than waiting until next fall for them to look at it. But is there going to be something to look at? I mean, is there a building or something going on? It looks like there was stuff going on. Yeah, I, I have never stopped yeah. to, to look in there and see. Yeah. Or to drive in to see, but okay. And I thought about the whole bridge issue, and I believe we took the bridge off Rena Vaisa because we took the bridge off of that we knew existed on uh, Judge Judy's daughter's property right. because she threatened to take us to court over it. And it just seemed easier to say, let's not worry about bridges. That's what I recall. And, and the other, well, there's the other one, that, the old Judah one there. There's no bridge there. No, either. that, that's was such a low value. That oh, had a very low, low value. value. Right. It was, uh, it was Rena Visa's. Yeah. And then this new one, which might just be something over a culprit, but it's very, very elaborate. Yeah. So. Okay. No, we we don't keep track of solar on private residents. No, I keep track of it, but we don't. We can't tax on it. It's, sure. I mean, I put it on the car and everywhere, but there's no value attached to it. Because right. I'm thinking there's the town's going through a recent uh, 
study or to develop a solar plan. Forget what it's called, right? We're looking at solar installations, what's there today and what's in the future. And they list public and commercial properties that either have it or are available for it. And I think there's residential. So I don't, I'm just curious where they get the residential from. Where do they get any of that data from? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they've, they haven't asked me. I can pull it out because I just can, I mean, I can, you know, do a report which lists solar. Okay. But nobody has asked me that, so I haven't done it. But what is, what is that data show when you pull the report? I mean, just that they have it, yes or no, or is it a... Square foot. It connection. basically, I have several ways. It depends on what the permit says. I always either have RM for roof mounted or GM for ground mounted. Yeah. And I either put the number, what whatever the information on the permit, I either put the kilowatt that it, it produces or the number of panels, one of those two things. Okay. So it might say 14 panel. And something else might say, I don't know what's a reasonable number, 1.1 1 .1 kilowatt. I don't know. I don't know what's reasonable. Okay. Because what's reported, I don't remember seeing panels. It talks about square footage of well, roof that, area. Oh, well, that one did not have. For no. Sure. Well, they could get square footage off the property card if they wanted to. Yeah, they could. Square I'm footage. Not doing it for yeah. Okay. I don't know where they're getting it, but I was just wondering. Throw us their information. And... No, that's that's nothing we've collected. Yeah, but we don't assess any value for that, do we? No, we're not. Yeah. By lawyer, we can't. Yeah. Which is why I've been very careful to put it in. Yeah. So all that we'd have to do is to is to put in a value. Although in fact we're just putting everything in as one. I mean we're not. You know, in the description, I put it in as a little tag reminder. Yeah. You know, I'll put in roof mounted, and then where it's, you can define it, I'll say like 14 panels, but that's not part of the value. So even if you put a value, all I do is say one, one system, one array, yeah. average, average, and then a year. So there's, I mean, you couldn't generate any real data or value from it okay. because they're all different. I mean, they're, you know, $10,000 arrays and there are $78,000 arrays on yeah. houses. All right. Okay. So, I hope to not be here by the time we have to worry about that. Yeah. But let's it's, not run late because I can't. I have. I know, I know. We'll be. Is there oh, one yeah. as far as other meetings for the county or anybody? Is there anything else coming up? Yeah, I think there is a. Uh, oh, and for some reason, it looks like we haven't paid our, our MAAO uh, membership. And I went to look for it. I was sure we had. I was sure I had filled it out, and I can't find the invoice. So we get a notice today, and it said click on this link to find out your invoice and I click on it and all it says is print cancel. That's the and when you hit on print, it shows a sheet of paper with the yeah. word print and cancel on it. Oh. So I emailed her back and said there's nothing here to go out. I thought we had done it. How many of us are in there? We used to be down to just one, weren't we? Because they wanted they increased the, the yeah they increased it a lot. So yeah, I think just, it was just me, maybe, or maybe just you. I yeah. don't remember. Okay, but as far as meetings and stuff, are that coming up? Is there anything? Oh, they've got some kind of a conference. They've, yeah. And I think they're running, I know they're running one of those things for the clerks and assistant assessors. And I forget when it was, but I couldn't go to it. I mean, it wasn't a time that it was even available for them. So. And it wasn't, it was, I'll have to check. There might there might be something happening in Holyoke at some point. It wasn't, or 
The one I went to, you were in you were Fidel. That was the Franklin County thing. Franklin County one. Round Which table to me thing. is far more yeah. in, instructive and interesting and, and, and then useful. And yeah. no, I haven't, there hasn't been anything for that. Okay. okay. Well, see what you need to pay for us and I know if it's. Well, at least the two of us, the three of us, whatever in there. Whatever we did. Well, I think only I think there was only one name, I if I recall. There. Whatever they need to do here. Yeah. Okay. What else? I think that's it. I hope so. Okay. Motion adjourn. Okay. Adjourn. Yes. Okay. Go All right. Yes. Okay. All right.